Uh, let's go through the papers then in a bit more detail with political consultant Emma Burnell and <laughs> philosopher Piers Ben. I'll get there in the end, Piers. Morning. Um, Emma, let's start with the Mirror looking at Partygate. They're delighted this morning, the Mirror. I mean, it, yeah, the Mirror leans left. Um, anyone who questions the... Uh, probity of Boris Johnson, which I think is a vast majority, if, if you look at the polls, um, will be... I, I, I think delighted is probably not how most people are feeling. Just vindicated again. Do you, do you even think vindicated? Because a lot of, uh, surely people are going to just turn around and say, haven't we got enough to worry about? I mean, if, if, if he was going to go and um, we could move on, perhaps something... But this is just going to drag on for months I now. think when someone's as clearly bad at their job and shouldn't be in it, I think the fact that we're in a time of really difficult crisis makes that more important to talk about, not less. Um, I get very fed up with um, things like the, oh, the, the front page of the mail saying, how long are we going to talk about it? As if they had no licence over what goes on the front page of the mail. We're going to talk about it because it's important who runs our country. It's, it's important that the people who set the rules can be trusted to follow them. It's important that as we go into a crisis like the the, the just increasing crisis of cost of living. And trust me, I was checking my gas bills yesterday and I know exactly how people are feeling about that. Um, that we trust the people in charge to not only be honest with us, but also to have just a sense of what they're doing. And once again, they've just shown that they are headless chickens running around a playground the rest of us aren't allowed into with no clue what they're doing. They're not headless chickens, though, surely. I mean, our Prime Minister is <clears throat> in India having a very uh, important meeting. Um, he was in Ukraine uh, just a couple of, what, a week ago? Two weeks ago, I don't know. Um, but, I mean, he's doing an important job. He's being a world leader. He's not running around like a headless chicken. One of the three things the Prime Minister promised his party to get him through that first hump of of Partygate was that he'd sort out his operation. What yesterday showed us in Parliament, what the farce of is there an amendment, isn't there an amendment, are we voting for it, are we voting against it, oh, who knows, shows that he has absolutely not got a grip. Mm. What do you think, Piers, because, I mean, you've been looking at that as well, the Daily Mail yes. asking how long can this all go on. Yes, the Daily Mail asked that question on its front page, and it seems to me that the, the, the sort of right of centre press is more or less agreeing with what Emma's just said. Uh, I mean, the whole, uh, I agree with what Emma just said, uh, it is a sort of farce. Uh, you could say it's been manufactured by the media, but I think there's too much at stake. I mean, it's fairly clear that, uh, that Boris Johnson is really just unfit for the office, unfit for any office, really, and that's been office for a long time. I'm not saying that's just for the sake of it. He does, he often says he's, he's focused on delivering on the prime priorities of the British people. Unfortunately, one such priority at the moment seems to be to get rid of Boris Johnson. Mm. Uh, so, well, I don't well, know whether that's true, Yeah, it depends yeah, I mean, who our, you ask. Our, our, I mean, certainly, the vast majority of people who contact us say the exact opposite. Well, maybe they do, but maybe um, the people who contact you are not representative. But it's, it's interesting that... Well, they, they have, have a view, certainly, yeah, though, yeah, don't they? Yes, there is a view. I mean, I can, I can see why people might think the whole biz thing's been blown out of proportion. But I think when you have this drip-drip effect of, this, of the sort of bluster and waffle uh, with which Boris Johnson <coughs> confronts every question about his activities, particularly last night. It's embarrassing. And, and the, after the argument that we need him to remain in office because, uh, because of Ukraine, well, it seems to be a pretty good reason for him but going. Do, but the only time he does you know, bluster, as you say, and has trouble finding the right words or looks as though he's very awkward about it, is when he's being asked consistently and constantly about Partygate. But yes. if you were to ask him about Ukraine or India as, at the moment, he would have something very straightforward to say, surely. It's because we're, we keep on at him about Partygate. Oh, he had a reputation for blustering yeah. well before Partygate. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I mean, this is not new. His approach to yeah. not answering a straight question straightly is not new. Yes. No, but don't we have to boil this back down to... I think this is what people who contact us are, are thinking. I mean, not just that, you know, now, now is not the time, which is a legitimate point, you've yeah. got to say, mm -hmm. but also the fact when you look at, at what he's been accused of, and certainly with what he's been fined for so far, is a case of... So they didn't think... They really didn't think they were breaking the rules. They leaked it to the, they leaked it to the press when it was happening, and no-one thought it was breaking the rules. Um, so... 
it's a complicated situation, that work, home, space, and people just having a slice of cake and a glass of wine after a day where they've all been sat together in the office. Well, maybe it is a complicated situation, but lots of people, lots of ordinary people, have been fine for doing those very things. Mm. And I think what's angering a lot of people is the, is the double standards mm. problem, that what pe ordinary people are being punished for uh, is something that's regarded as really a bit of a joke. In, um, in those top political circles, and I think that's what's uh, it's the cause. Do you not think the press is being, uh, and the media may be a bit hypocritical, saying how long can this go on, when they're the ones who keep the narrative going? Oh, well, there's an argument for saying that this should have been hushed up, because if the, if the, the problem is that you undermine the credibility of the lockdown rules by revealing that the, 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 those in charge are breaking them, OK, I can see that. But I think there's a deeper point about holding people to account and about honesty and probity. Uh, I mean, it's yeah. quite an interesting question. Who did leak those, uh, those party gate uh, details? Cause somebody must have been there. I assume that, you know, that, that journalists and politicians hobnob a lot, so there must have been journalists at those parties. Um, must have been. Yeah, must have yes, been. I mean, it could have come from somewhere. Yeah. Mm. So I lost my thread, but... No, I was, <laughs> no, I was, just, no, no. I was thinking the, well, they're, 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 yeah, the cake yeah, yeah. one was leaked to the Times as colour. Yeah. Um, it was supposed to be just a nice detail mm. for a profile that was being written. And, and, um, but it, I think the problem at the moment is that he's only been fined for the birthday cake right, incident. Yes, yes, yes. There's a lot more to come. Yeah, well, the Sue Gray report apparently has many photographs which yes. would be lovely to see. Yes, to. Yes. Mm. So, I mean, we need to know more, but, but it's the fact that it's all being eked out over such a long period of time. Well, there's one way to stop that. I mean, the question is, for, and the question, I'm not a Tory, um, I think that's been fairly obvious to your viewers every time I've come on, yeah. but uh, Tories need to ask themselves, do we want Tory things to happen or do we want this man to stay in his job? Because at the moment... Those are the options. And I think it's. I, if I were a Conservative, mm. I'd be really worried that the reason nothing's getting done is because all the energy is being put into protecting this one guy. Why? What because is, well, where's he got them into power in the first place? Well, he I might mean, have got them into power in the first place. They, they used to be very good at getting rid of people when they stopped keeping them in power. Right the, up to but, and including their patron, St Margaret Thatcher. But I don't know if, if, if the, we are at a point where people would say Boris Johnson will not keep them in power, are we? Because he still has that public appeal. And, and whether you like his methods or, not or, or, the or, or whether you like you know, his approach to things, you have to say, I mean, you look at Brexit as an example. He was the only person who came forward and said, no, we're just going to do it. We are going to do it with all this dithering that have been going on. Right. Yeah, we're going to do it. You voted for it. We're going to do it. And it's got done. People uh, well, like that. Uh, a moment happened. It's still oh, ongoing. Oh, come on. It's pretty, it's pretty much. Uh, I mean, you know, ask the Northern Irish how much it's done. Um, but I think, you know, OK, Boris is a bull in a china shop. Every now and again, he hits a target. Most of the time, he's breaking the crockery. But you're right. I mean, the Tories will get rid of him when they fear for their own seats and they, and they fear for the general election. When enough backbenchers are afraid for their own seats, that's when it will happen. But and they I should think, be afraid for their values and their uh, policy. As well. Yeah, of course. I, I agree. I mean, you need to be afraid for both. But, mm. yeah. But it's just awkward yeah. times at the moment, isn't it? Because, I mean, the May elections are only weeks away yeah. now. Yeah. So they can't make any uh, bold decisions before then. Mm. On the other hand, the May elections will tell them a lot about how the public are really feeling about them. Yes, we have to, to wait to see what will happen about that. And the other problem is with whether people trust the alternatives enough, whether people trust Keir Starmer, who seems to many people to be a decent, solid person, but lacking in the sort of spark and charisma or whatever mm. you're meant to have to be a prime minister. Mm. I mean, yeah. Personally, I think prime ministers should be boring. Uh, be rather good, you know, grey people who just got things done, if they do get things done. But, like uh, John Major back, would you? Oh, poor old John Major, who was much maligned, I think. It turned out to be a lot less boring than we thought. Well, 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 <laughs> that's yeah. very true. Yes, <laughs> yes. He was yeah. the one person that I, when, uh, back in my radio reporting days, and when I met him, he actually looked grey, mm. like the spitting image puppet of him. He did. I was just like, wow, he really is That was grey. viciously accurate, wasn't it? it was, <laughs> but, but, a very charm, but a very charming and a very engaging man, actually, yes, when yes. you got to know him. Yeah. I met him first time, uh, just met, met him to talk rather than to interview, um, in a queue for the loo at Geoffrey Archer's house. Wow. Oh, I don't know if I'd admit to that. I don't know <laughs> if I'd admit to party. that. Uh. Yeah. And um, well, Geoffrey Archer always used to throw these amazing parties that you went to, you know, whatever your... Uh, <laughs> whatever. Um, um, and there I was queuing for the loo, and it was John Major in, in, ahead of me. And, uh, and, he and he was telling me about cricket, basically. Oh. <laughs> I thought would be a bit boring, but he was, he was absolutely fascinating. Yeah. Mm. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favourite shows, and join in the conversation in the comments below.
Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.